Living life on life's terms means we know we aren't in control of others. We never were. We are only in control of our own actions. Seeing clearly now, living in the spiritual life, we are able to make amends to others, whether in the moment, when we overreact, or for past harms. Amend means we fix what we broke and to no longer behave the way we did. Our old apologies, saying we're sorry, only to repeat that same negative behavior again a short time later is now not how we live. We are on the beam, following the righteous path as best we can. Spiritual progress, not spiritual perfection. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, belief in a higher power turns into faith when we pray and meditate for an understanding of His will for us. September 18th, thought for the day. Step two is, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Step three is, made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood Him. Step 11 is, sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood Him, praying only for knowledge of His will for us and the power to carry that out. The fundamental basis of Alcoholics Anonymous is a belief in some power greater than ourselves. Let us not take this lightly. We cannot fully get the program without this venture of belief. Have I made the venture of belief in a power greater than my own? Meditation for the day. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Dwell for a moment each day in a secret place, the place of communion with God, apart from the world, and thence receive strength to face the world. Material things cannot intrude upon this secret place. They cannot ever find it, because it is outside the realm of material things. When you abide in this secret place, you are under the shadow of the Almighty. God is close to you in this quiet place of communion. Each day, dwell for a while in this secret place. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may renew my strength in quietness. I pray that I may find rest in quiet communion with God. Most people do not understand that AA is a Find God program that also stops our alcoholic obsession. It is the solution to our problem that opens the door to a more wonderful new life. We are reborn, it says, in the third step, and we know it to be true when we honestly work the steps. We open ourselves to the sunlight of the Spirit, who has been waiting by the door forever, waiting for us to get over it and open the door just a small crack. Once we do, a great flood at tide rushes in and through us. We cannot wait to gain the strength to open it more. We were insane when we were drinking, doing the same thing over and over again, knowing the results we would get, never good ones, and knowing how bad it would be, but yet we did it anyhow. Now in sobriety, with a higher power, we have come to know and love. We have courage that replaced our fear, and we flipped our insanity on its head. We face the fear and do the right thing anyhow. We always innately knew what the right thing was. Or more succinctly, we knew in our gut when we were doing the not right thing, but we justified doing it over and over again anyhow. Being restored to sanity, our budding belief was strengthened into full faith in our higher power, and we relieved ourselves of everyday burdens and deliberations by turning it all over to His will. We aligned with our spirit to the best of our understanding. If the right decision isn't clear, we pause and wait for the right thought or action. 
It will always come when we are patient and pray on it. Life is worn like a loose garment now, and our connection with our higher power is the source of our happiness. We start our days asking for His guidance in prayer and meditation. We didn't know how simple it would be. Simple, not easy. A price has to be paid. We live our lives on the altruistic plane today, wanting for others what we want for ourselves. True love for others, the golden rule. We seek to improve our lives, our relationship with our higher power, and to be useful to others, and they all come together in that common goal. A side effect of our spirituality is we stay sober, seemingly with little to no effort on our part. The obsession has been removed. Our higher power does provide. I can't, he can, I think I'll let him, is a summary of how great we have it today. We know our power resides with our higher power, and we do whatever we can to stay aligned and close to it. Praying for others and how we can be useful each day, meditating for the ability to hear his message and selfless acts of kindness has been working for AAs for a long time. He doesn't make too hard terms for those who earnestly seek him. Consider, belief in a higher power turns into faith when we pray and meditate for an understanding of his will for us. September 18th, thought for the day. Step two is, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Step three is, made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. Step 11 is, sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood him, praying only for knowledge of his will for us and the power to carry that out. The fundamental basis of Alcoholics Anonymous is a belief in some power greater than ourselves. Let us not take this lightly. We cannot fully get the program without this venture of belief. Have I made the venture of belief in a power greater than my own? Meditation for the day. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Dwell for a moment each day in a secret place, the place of communion with God, apart from the world, and thence receive strength to face the world. Material things cannot intrude upon this secret place. They cannot ever find it, because it is outside the realm of material things. When you abide in this secret place, you are under the shadow of the Almighty. God is close to you in this quiet place of communion. Each day, dwell for a while in this secret place. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may renew my strength in quietness. I pray that I may find rest in quiet communion with God. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.